Hey everybody, welcome to the Monster Vlog. Um, oh, today was day eight of yoga with Adrian. It was day eight meditate, so it was a super chill. Um, like I didn't, I didn't actually get any footage of it, but I almost made it into crow pose, like almost. I actually, whenever I get done shooting this little bit, I'm gonna go get some footage of me doing crow pose and put it in like right here. future of editing for Vaughn. Okay, and we're back. Ah! So I don't know if I did crow pose or not, but I tried and it's, man, it's challenging. But I really, I'm really enjoying the yoga with Adrian. I weighed in this morning and I had lost five pounds in the past week, in week one of doing my vlog and everything. And I'm, I'm just so excited and I really feel like doing a little bit of you know getting video a little bit every day talking to y'all through this vlog as a platform um is keeping me so focused and all of y'all's comments are keeping me really inspired too to like it's keeping me in the right frame of mind in the right mindset it's uh, uh keeping the momentum up because i know that it's going to be kind of hard to keep this my poor lamp dog to keep this sustainable over I don't know like the next 80 years if I'm lucky um <laughs> so ah um I'm just I'm so excited so we're having a little bit of a lunch break the birds and I are I've got my salad um that if I remember to there might be a card popping up on the screen or at least a leak down in the video or you can go check out the rest of my uh monster vlog channel and find the video for how to make your own uh, salad prep. This is like day five of salad out of the fridge and I wait to add in any of the wet stuff like the avocado, uh, the dressing obviously, and um, the, I put in a sprinkle of sunflower seeds as well. And it is super duper yummy. Um, love the little cherry tomatoes. But uh, you can see I'm actually test wearing some of the wire elf ears that I've been busy making today And then after lunch, I'm gonna go back inside and Randy and I are going to coil and cut <sighs> Chainmail rings which I sigh because it's we have about 200 coils that we need to get coiled and I'm like oh man But I think we'll put on some music and everything will be all right Good morning, everybody. It is yoga with Adrian day nine So let's do it <laughs> So that kicked my butt. Um, I tried a new location today here off the end of the craft room thinking it would be better because it's closer to the air conditioner. As you can see, whew, um, kicked my kicked my butt. I'm sweaty. I'm a sweaty little bean. Um, so this is super frustrating. I'm in the uh, paint room where we have our ringinator set up. It's a very good tool. Excellent excellent thing except for when I order the wrong size blades so I'm like I'm not even going to spend more time on this today I'm going to instead I guess um, find something else to do gosh this really needed done like two weeks ago though but I got the correct size of blades ordered so hopefully hopefully they'll get here quick and I can get this taken care of so it's about five in the afternoon and I still haven't had lunch yet. I'm having another snack. Like I kind of shuffled the meals around today. It's very strange, like not being able to do the rings the way that I had originally planned kind of made me feel like my whole day was thrown off a little bit. Um, and then also like, I don't know, I've just been, I've been off all day, I feel like. Um, but I'm getting work done. Randy and I are working very hard getting Patreon packages. You can see we've got all the wire and beads and everything getting packaged up. Um, I'm currently bagging up the 20 gauge wire that's going to be going out to the wire wrapping kits. Um, so standard day at work pretty much. Uh, trying to, even though I feel off, I'm trying to get everything on my to-do list done. That way, you know... I don't know, it gives me a little bit of like logical ammunition against feeling kind of cruddy. So we are being super naughty. It's been, I, I've been stressful all day and Randy is taking me out to eat at our favorite 
restaurant, Mis Arcos. Jump in, we gotta go. <laughs> um, so I put on, sorry, not good at this, put on a nice dress. Um, and my plan is for the first time in, how do I do this one handed? Don't drive it, I don't, don't drive it, I don't have a, I will not put down the ducky. I was weak. Okay, so I ended up getting the same thing that I usually get at the restaurant, um, but it. yeah, <laughs> um, Randy only ate half of his portion, and I ate like maybe a third of mine. Um, I I used the tactic of drinking a ton of water um, before <laughs> my food got there. Like I drank an entire like they give you those huge old glasses, so I drank a whole glass of water before my food arrived. Two um, was it two? Yes. Okay, Randy. I guess he was keeping better track of us. So small victory that I just want to announce to you guys. I got 11 videos scheduled for on my main channel. That's 11 tutorials scheduled ahead of time this evening um so yay that's awesome and then also all of these uh cabochons that'll be ready to be domed with resin tomorrow i would do it tonight but i think i should stop while i'm ahead before i mess up a bunch of stuff by not mixing the resin properly because you know i'm super sleepy so okay bye okay so it is 11:45 at night um, I'm pretty tired, uh, but the house is a wreck, so, uh, Randy's gonna finish up upstairs and then come and do the dishes, and I'm gonna be sweeping and getting the litter box, you know, uh, taken care of, and, like, kind of, I like to reset the house, that way tomorrow morning we can get up, everything's ready to go, um, we don't have to worry about picking up too many messes from yesterday. This is kind of a new-ish thing that I've been implementing for the past, like, three weeks. And it's really... Well, it started, like, a month and a half ago, but it's really been picking up over these past three weeks. Uh, since we've been home, we haven't been traveling as much. And so we're able to kind of just get everything to where we can reboot while we're sleeping. Fresh start the next day. Good morning, everybody. So it is, like, noon. Um... Randy and I have been making polymer clay cabochons. Uh, I've had a cup of coffee. We're about to have breakfast. We've been up since like 10 though, so that's okay. We had a pretty late night last night. But yesterday was super productive. It was so nice to come downstairs and the house was, I'd say clean, but like it's still pretty wrecked in here, I think. But the kitchen was clean, the living room was clean, like very nice. Um, super busy day today too though, so, but. To help the time go by, guess what we're watching? Stargate SG-1. Yeah, get your nerd on. <laughs> also, today was day 10 of Yoga with Adrian. It was a very short, like, 10... I extended it a bit into 15 minutes. Did a little bit of, like... Like, a little bit of my own yoga on the side. Um, but it was really nice, really invigorating. Like, I think I definitely like doing yoga in the living room better than kind of crammed in along the side of the wall there with the air conditioner yelling at me and all that stuff. So very good yoga this morning, off to a good start to the day. And yeah, okay, I wanted to say that, so. So I went outside and all I got was this lovely allergic reaction to something. So my blood pressure was 138 over 84, which is the highest I have ever measured my blood pressure at. And I don't know if it's just that I'm stressed or if it's that I'm overweight and have pre-hypertension. Um, you know, I'm not sure. But it's good to have, again, another marking point of where my blood pressure is at, according to the machine at Walmart. Um, tomorrow, Randy's going to be helping me get my measurements. Uh... I miss going on walks, but it's been so hot and we've had so much work to do. We just haven't been able to fit in a walk for a couple of days, but I really miss that. Hey everybody, so it's the end of day 10, I think. Yeah, it was day 10 with yoga, for, or yoga with Adrian, day 10 this morning. <laughs> it has been a super long day. I'm not even 
entirely certain what time it is, but these are just some of the cabochons that we got made today. I've got another whole pan bigger than this one in baking. Um, that big blue bunch right there is actually just a whole mound of cabs that need resined up. I'm still bagging up Patreon things. Randy has been weighing and printing and shipping everything, so he's taking a bit of a break. Uh, we actually, we went and completely off schedule, uh, went and visited our friend who is recovering from surgery and he's doing really well and it was nice to just kind of get to sit, sit and hang out with him for a bit, but he bought pizza and we picked it up and brought it to him and so smelling the pizza oh the whole like way to his house and like just hot fresh you know uh pizza smelled so good and even though i hadn't budgeted for it and i've kind of splurged my calories earlier in the day with leftovers from misarcos yesterday um so that was like 700 calories for a meal in one sitting but Nah, it's okay. I, I had one piece of pizza and an orange and an almond milk and like kind of rounded that out. So I felt pretty good about my dinner. And then I'm still miraculously under my calorie goal for the day. So I'm like feeling pretty good about that. But on the way back from his house, we did stop and pick up a few more groceries and some new meal prep containers that I'm going to be really excited to share with you guys in probably another meal prep video. And I got my hands on some new yogurt that I might talk about either tomorrow or in another video and um i'm just i'm still so excited to um i don't know i feel like yesterday and today have not been the best days diet wise but i'm getting a ton of work done i'm technically not going over my calorie goals like i don't know i just i don't feel that great about them and so Randy is out and about driving our friend uh, for some doctor visits and stuff. So while he is gone, I am getting in some rising casting of all of these different cabs uh, for my Patreon packages. And I am excited because I haven't done this before. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> hey, Sam. Why are you licking the floor, honey? So these are the cabs that I am doming with resin. For the most part, I got a pretty decent doming. I really like these flat ones. It has been another very busy day, but very productive. I am super pleased to have gotten a bunch of meal prepping finished, um, which there should be videos coming out on how I did that, kind of cleaning out the cupboards, um, because I feel like I'm not going to just throw away food that we've had that is not particularly healthy, but that we did buy and we just hadn't eaten up yet. And so I wanted to make a video for you guys showing how to take unhealthy choices and make them a little bit healthier so we got that taken care of and I was really excited to do that plus I had the next uh we have 16 meals in there well down to 14 now because we ate some so that's a meal per person two people math is so hard I think that's seven days I'm tired <laughs> I think it's seven days of meals um Oh, to either have as dinner or lunch. I don't know. We'll see how quickly. I don't know if we'll be eating two servings in a day. I don't know. But we got it prepped. I got it prepped. <laughs> so that feels really great. I'm so tired. But y'all, like, I was going through answering messages today. And that's really encouraging. Y'all are some beautiful people. So thank you so much for just taking the time. To, to comment and to be with me here on this. Like, I think I think we can do this, you guys. I think so. It's worth a shot at least, right? Good morning on day 12. So super excited. Um, <laughs> my melon went bad from my meal prepping, which I'd prepped like eight days worth and then didn't eat it for a couple of, like a couple of days. It didn't, like, I just went to bed without eating away melon and cottage cheese. Um, bad Vaughn, but 
Um, so it's not the worst thing and it's not so bad that I can't give it to the chickens. It's just a little off tasting. Um, so I had strawberries with my cottage cheese instead. And now I am sitting down pre live stream, I'm all showered and ready to go after yoga, um, with one of my meal prepped meals. I'm feeling amazing today. Um, I had a wonderful night's sleep, a wonderful morning, like it stormed last night. So I woke up in the middle of the night to like close all the windows, but then I just snuggled back in with Randy and got a wonderful night's sleep. Um, got right off the first thing in the morning doing some, you know, chores like laundry and making the bed and all that, getting more laundry going, editing some videos, did my yoga, got that on video. Um, day 12 flew by. Like, it was only like a 17 minute thing for like spine health with a yoga with Adrienne, which I highly recommend. Um, like her videos are an excellent like starting point or get back to it point or just that it's good stuff. Um, but uh, feeling really good. I'm excited to do the, today's live stream. So I can't stay too long because I gotta get eating. And then we're, uh, if, if y'all are watching later, hopefully I saw you in today's live stream. <laughs> So I finished live streaming. I'm finishing up my cup of coffee. Uh, Randy is off running errands and I've got some stuff to sort through. I'm going to keep on keeping on with the Patreon packages and I'm about to have my afternoon snack. Um, so busy day, wonderful live stream. I feel so like uplifted and empowered and encouraged and like y'all are a blessing in my life. and. I'm, I'm so thankful for you guys, like, really, like, <laughs> um, I, I don't know what I'd do without you, like, you guys brighten my day every day, so thank you so much for that, uh, but I'm just gonna keep working, um, I'm also about to shoot a couple more tutorials for over my tutorial channel, uh, so I can get, again, get ahead, get everything going, that way, Thing will be all right um I don't know I don't know what could go wrong but I keep telling myself it's like everything's gonna be all right so uh, I gotta keep on keep on keeping on <laughs> hey everybody I'm Vaughn with the Vonster vlog and in this week's vlog update I weighed in at 227 I think I got 227 on camera but when I weighed myself today um I was 227.2 that was after having, I guess some people could call it a refeed day. I call it like a free day or a cheat day, but it's like a day that like I did go over my calorie budget yesterday. So I think the weight loss has been maintained from the first week, but probably some of that water weight is balancing out, but it's only week two. I feel really great about it. Like I was not going to lie. I was pretty bummed out about the initial result on the scales. So I was like, maybe I'll have lost like 50 pounds. Like I'm not exactly a reasonable person, um, <laughs> but um, I was bummed out for like, I mean, 30 minutes probably. I was like, man, I was really hoping for like more big dramatic number changes or something. And then I was like, well, that's silly. Like, why are you going to be that way? And I was like, I don't know. And I was like, well, let's quit. And I was like, okay. Um, so Vaughn and other Vaughn had a very deep conversation. No, but, <laughs> um, but I do have a non-scale victory to share with you guys. Aside from the fact that I've been doing meal prep successfully for like, like two weeks, like we went through, did another meal prep video, um, showing some cooked meals this time instead of just salads and I actually just heated up their cooling on the counter right now. Our last two, uh, from that batch, our last two, uh, little prepped meal containers from that. And then we're going to be going to the grocery store later today, which I might get a little bit of video. I don't know if I, how comfortable I am with like getting video in public. Cause I normally just do it here in my house or like in my yard. But like whenever there's other people around, I don't want to be like, excuse me I'm getting video <laughs> like you know it's I don't know like other people are there too I don't want to like infringe on their bubbles of existence if that makes sense so I might get like just some stealthy like video um of like the grocery shopping and stuff but non-scale victory is for the first time in my life like ever except okay correction when I was six, I had a Pocahontas swimsuit that I loved more than anything in the world, and I tried to wear it to school every chance that I got, but apparently wearing a swimsuit to school isn't within dress code whenever you're in first grade. But since I was six and loved that swimsuit, for the first time in my adult or teenager life, um, I have found a swimsuit that I 
love. Like, love the way it fits, love the way it feels, loves the way I swim in it, everything. And so I wanted to share with you guys my 227 pound self in my new favorite swimsuit that I got for $10 at Walmart. Um, <laughs> because we went to visit our friends Lauren and Zach yesterday uh, with, with Lurian Cosplay and uh, like we just took a day off and Lauren was like, hey, we should go swimming. And I was like, oh, that'd be great, but I don't have a swimsuit. And she's like, we, like Walmart's right there. And I was like, okay. So we went and it was the first swimsuit I saw. Um, and I loved the color. I was like, ooh, I love this little like the mesh pattern because it's kind of like fishnets, but fishnets are a little too like, I don't know. I wore those a lot back in high school when I was all goth uh, or trying to be. Um, <laughs> and so I was like, it reminded me of a darker time. <laughs> so this is more like hippie fishnet but I love the mesh patterning I, I never have worn this cut before in my life either because I used to think that it made my shoulders look like super rounded and slouched and stuff but check out like that little bit of muscle definition going on there my guns and then in the back like absolutely just I love it like I can't huh, I've been wearing it like all day and I'm not even swimming today I know I'm not gonna swim today no, we gotta go grocery shopping. Um, but I'm gonna wear it in the pool at the Y and see how it holds up to just lap swimming. Cause I spent a, a hot minute uh, in <laughs> Lauren's pool um, just lounging. Like we lounged for like four hours. I don't even know if you can tell, but I'm still a little red. And then like the backs of my thighs, excuse me, Sam dog. The backs of my thighs got sunburnt, like super bad. But I love this swimsuit, you guys. <laughs> So, non-scale victory. Um, on that note, I am really excited to start week three really strong. Um, I did not do yoga yesterday. Ooh, I swam for like four hours, though. Like leisure swam. There was probably like 30 minutes of actual swimming in there. But um, it's today. Getting right back at it. Getting right back on track. with The meal planning, everything. I'm just, I'm stoked. And something as simple as a $10 swimsuit has like made me so happy for two days in a row <laughs> and it's not even like looking at the swimsuit on the wall and being like one day I'll wear that it's I'm wearing it and I'm like I can dig this like even hey Randy is this Randy approved oh yeah, oh, yeah? <laughs> so Randy approved that's even better um because he's the one who's gonna look at me all the time so <laughs> but um I'm trying a slightly different format for the vlog setup this week as opposed to me just talking to you guys for 20 minutes. I'm doing, like, I'm going to try really hard to edit down the whole past week's worth of little updates and stuff into one video. So let me know which style you guys prefer because, again, I want to convey as much information as possible but keep it fun and, like, I don't know, I'm still figuring this out. So I'd love to hear you guys' input. Um, cause I don't want to be like three hours later and it's still me rambling on about like, and then I did this with broccoli and then <laughs> like, you know, so, um, but I think this is the end of the video, you guys. So I will see y'all next time. And in the meantime, just happy everything, good luck in everything that you do. And keep in mind, progress is made in millimeters and excuses are just obstacles for you to overcome. So don't let excuses stop you. Let them be an obstacle to work through. You know, if it's like, if you have an excuse that's a recurring, yeah, but, figure out a way to fix it. Figure out a way to move around it or over it or through it because we can do this. We've got this, you guys. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, so I wanted to show you how easy it is to use my fitness pal, especially whenever you're adding in new foods. So you can see down here at the bottom right, um, there is a little plus sign. I would click that and it pops up and I would click food and then I am having it's not technically lunch it's like five in the evening right now but it's my third time eating today so I'm just popping it right there and then I would click in the upper right this little scan code and so you can see you just bring it in and scan and I double check let's see it is where's it at the nutritional information 110 110 lines up zero grams of fat that lines up total carbs 
13 grams, that lines up protein, okay, and I double check and then I click the check mark and that's done. That's, that's all it takes to add a new food. And then if I wanted to go in, like for my afternoon snack, I would click add food and you can go through your recent foods, you can go through your frequent foods, and then you can also add in complete meals and recipes. So that way, if I go back and remake a recipe, um, then, you know, I, I don't have to re-log re in all of the different ingredients. And then it shows me my daily goal, my food, my exercise, and as well as the remaining calories for the day. So I have quite a bit of food left to fit in me for the day. So I am going to log off of here and go eat my yogurt.